Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to Coffee Convo Wednesday. My name is Cindy, I will be your host as I am each and every Wednesday afternoon, so there. <laughs> this is Coffee Convo Wednesday for Wednesday, May 1st, 2019, the first day of May. So I can no longer sing, it's gonna be May, which is what I did sing all day yesterday. <laughs> So today is Coffee Combo Wednesday, episode 158. The way the show works, we're gonna be here for about 15 or 20 minutes. We're gonna talk about three different things, and then at the end, I'm gonna hook you up with something amazing. Oh, like last week, do you remember? Oh, this awesome Disney princess basket, which was like, and is, chock full of stuff. So congratulations to Michelle P in Kissimmee, Florida. She is the big winner this week, so we will get your Disney princess basket to you. There are so many fun things in there. I was really tempted to keep it, but I love you guys more, so I did not. So congratulations to Michelle P in Kissimmee, Florida, uh, which is not too far from here. I want to say it's like 45 minutes to an hour, so kind of exciting. All right, so my name is Cindy. A little bit about me, if this is your first time joining me, thank you. I am originally from Los Angeles, California, born and raised, like totally. I grew up in the valley, for sure. Gag me with a spoon. No, really, I did. And if you are older than, or younger than 30, you're like, what's gag me with a spoon? What's a valley girl? <laughs> I have five people in my family. It's me, my husband, Eric, who owns a promotional products company. He basically puts logos on stuff. So if you ever need something, you know, with a logo on it, mysmartshirt.com is where you can find him. Uh, yes, honey, you can thank me for that later. Ding. Uh, I, we have two daughters, Lily and Luna, 13 and six, and then a Mama Jane, yes, she is my Mama Jane, who lives with us, and I kind of love that she lives with us. We live in Orlando, Florida now, more specifically Winter Garden, and I kind of love our neighborhood, like a lot. I love our neighbors, because I know they're watching, and I love where we live. We are less than 30 minutes away from Walt Disney World, and I grew up less than 30 minutes away from Disneyland. So there you go, like it kind of worked out. It, it kind of worked out. <laughs> All right, so a couple of things to let you know about before we get started today. Today is May 1st. It is also the 30th anniversary of Disney's Hollywood Studios. So there is a big hoopla happening right now at Disney's Hollywood Studios. There's new merchandise, new treats, photo pass opportunities. So if you are heading to the park anytime soon, then you should make sure to check it out because there's so much fun stuff going on. They just um, announced that they are, well, they have a new logo. You can see the logo if you follow me on Instagram. It's a new logo for Disney's Hollywood Studios. Also, there is a new table service restaurant coming to Toy Story Land. It's gonna be a Toy Story restaurant. Kind of excited about that. Kind of exciting. There's a new Mickey and Minnie ride. Plus, duh, we all know, well, at least I do, that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens at the end of August. I got in line right here from my house 30 minutes away and I still wasn't anywhere near the front. <laughs> I think the line is probably gonna to go to like the Florida, Georgia border. Pretty sure, pretty sure of that. All right, first up on Coffee Convo Wednesday, first I'm gonna ask you to tell me what you're enjoying this afternoon. What are you drinking? I thought I would use my Toy Story mug um, since I'm talking about Disney's Hollywood Studios today. So I offer you a good afternoon. Cheers, comment below with what you're enjoying this afternoon. Okay, topic number one. There's never a dull moment in, <laughs> in our family. The other night, I am sleeping as if shoo, honk shooing away, totally happy and sleep, asleep. And our 13 year old daughter comes in, wake up now, mom. And I'm like, what? Oh, okay, what? What's going on? What's going on? There is a frog on my shower curtain. And I'm like, uh, what? Mom, you need to get up. There is a frog on the shower curtain in our bathroom that she shares with her sister. And her sister is asleep, but because she's. 13 and going through that teenage sleep thing, she was totally awake. And I'm like, what? So I go take a peek and I was like, oh yeah, we need to take care of that. And by we, I mean my husband. Hey honey, honey. <laughs> yes, because like he nods off after 2.2 seconds. So he had been asleep forever. I'm like, hey, so um, there's a frog in the girl's bathroom. I'm out. <laughs> He's like, what? There is a frog in the girl's bathroom. Oh, okay, why are you yelling? 
So we go into the bathroom. I, I feel like that took about an hour, which of course I had to answer the story, like the whole thing. And then he's finally like, are you really going to do this the whole time? I'm like, it's my friends. <laughs> they want to see our late night drama. So we go into the girl's bathroom and there it is on the shower curtain. And that thing was like a jumpy sucker. Like, uh-uh, that is all you, boo. I don't want anything to do with that. So I get out. So we tried a couple of things. We were gonna get two cups and try to do that, but the cups were really small. Then I deconstructed two Easter baskets, you know, like the plastic baskets, and was going to like shove the plastic baskets together. And he's like, no, that's not gonna work. So then he gets like these rubber gloves because he's afraid, not afraid, that sounds so not manly, but concerned that the frog is going to pee pee on him. So he gets these gloves and he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get the frog and then I'm gonna put it out the window because they have a window in their bathroom. I'm like, hey, whatever, like I said, you do you boo, I don't want anything to do with this. So he has the gloves on, then he gets a broom and somehow, I don't know, my, <laughs> my daughter Lily and I are standing outside the door laughing hysterically, which when it's late at night and you're trying to be quiet, like you're dying laughing, you can't help it, because you just hear, huh, 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 huh. like he's at like battle, he's in battle, he's at like war with the frog. But rest assured, no frogs were harmed in the capturing of the frog. He was able to get the frog on the broom and put it out the window onto the roof so he could hip hop, hippity hop away out of the bathroom. We still don't really know how we got in the house, but our neighbors behind us, um, Emily and her family, they had a frog in their house before, I think a couple of times. So, I mean, we live in Florida. We've had uh, lizards in the house before. So yeah, I'm not down with that. <laughs> Ask my neighbor, Megan, cause she came over one time. I was like, you're gonna have to get it. Cause I don't want to have anything to do with the lizard. Like I'm such a pansy. <laughs> Next up on a Coffee Convo Wednesday. So I was talking to my friend Taylor recently and her husband Glenn, and I learned, somehow we got into talking about oh, just different food places, whatever, that he has never eaten at a Waffle House. And he's also never seen the movie Home Alone. And I found this like mind boggling. I mean, I know there's plenty of stuff, plenty of things I haven't seen or plenty of places I haven't eaten, but like Waffle House, Although I will say, I grew up in Los Angeles, California, so I really never heard of Waffle House until I moved to the South. So I get it, but he grew up in Texas and he's lived in Atlanta for a long time. So how have you not eaten at a Waffle House? My, my neighbor, Megan, I was talking about like her husband, he's like, down with Waffle House. Mike does not like Waffle House. I love Waffle House. No, not because it's quality food, people. Let's be real, okay? It's not quality food, but it's a tradition. Every Christmas Eve, we get in our PJs, we go to church, and then we eat at the Waffle House. We've done it for like five, six years now. It's tradition because it's just like greasy, bad food. Like the raisin toast there though is my favorite. It's like slattered with butter, like Paula Deen slattered with butter. And it's so good. So I wanted to ask you, what is one thing you've never done? Or like one place you've never tried that you don't even tell people because they're gonna be like, <gasps> what? You've never eaten blank or you've never been to blank. It's kind of like one of my best friends, Mary Louise, has never seen the Star Wars movies and I don't even understand. I don't, I don't even understand. I don't understand that. I don't understand that at all. My other friend, Christine, same thing. She's never seen the Star Wars movies. I'm like, shouldn't that be like a prerequisite before we can, we can become friends that you have had to like at least seen one of the Star Wars movies. Tyler from our morning show, cause I'm on the radio here in Orlando, she's never seen the Star Wars movies. Like that is mind boggling to me because that I think is such a huge part of my childhood. Like we played Star Wars, we loved Star Wars. We did a family Christmas card a couple of years. So comment below and tell me just one thing you've never done, a place you've never been, something you've never eaten where it's just, it would be mind boggling to all of us watching or commenting below when we see your post that will be like, oh my goodness, what? It is crazy. Okay, on to topic number three. When I say I saved the best for last, I saved the best for last. And I'm gonna try and get through this without, uh, without laughing my head off and because you would think I'm bananas. But the other day, and I, wa I wanna preface this too, 
by saying, okay, so I love my husband and my husband is amazing because he lets me talk about whatever I want on this show, on my radio show. And cause he's like, I get it. Like, you know, this stuff only happens in our family. Like we're just, we're just kind of bananas. And so when this happened, <laughs> and I can't wait to tell you, I'm like, is it okay to share this? He's like, you know, I don't care. I was like, yes, you don't. Cause you're awesome and amazing. All right. The second thing is I want to preface the story by saying we are frugal. We are not extravagant money spenders. Maybe before I got married, I liked a good handbag and a pair of shoes. But then like, hashtag priorities. Uh, I had kids, got married, had kids, and I you know, just started realizing that that's not what life is about, collecting stuff. Coffee mugs, which I have in this cabinet, <laughs> I do enjoy because I like coffee. But like, I don't really collect anything. I don't wanna spend a lot of money on tons of things. I like experiences. I've talked about this on the show. I like to go places. I like to have time with my family and my friends. It's what I crave so much. Like this Saturday, we're going to the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. I cannot wait because we haven't been yet this year. So I crave moments like that, like experiences. Like we went and did the surprise trip a couple weeks ago to Great Wolf Lodge. Like I just, I love that stuff. So that being said, we're frugal. Now, are we washing our paper plates and reusing paper towels and napkins? On occasion, if you just had a piece of toast on it, right? <laughs> okay, so the other day, I am in our bathroom and I see this on the counter. Now, I don't know if you can really kind of get a gander at this. It's wet toilet paper. Can you see that? Can you see that from, if you can tell, it's not like a normal looking roll of toilet paper. It's wet. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but... Mm, you get it, it's, it's not a normal roll. It's not a full, pretty roll of fluffy Charmin. <laughs> it is a wet roll. So I go into the bathroom and I'm like, hey, hey honey, what, what happened to the toilet paper? It fell in the toilet. I said, oh, look, okay. Why is it sitting on the counter? You ready for this? So it can dry out. I'm sorry. Excuse me, come again? Ooh, what? So it can dry out. Dry out for what? To use. <laughs> I'm not even making this up. He said it's drying out so we can use it. Uh, no. He said, no, honey, it. It fell in a bowl of clean water. I'm like, I don't care if it fell in holy water. <laughs> I am not reusing this toilet paper. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even make this up. And he was dead serious. I mean, he was not, it was not a joke. Ha ha ha. Yuck, 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 yuck. He wants to reuse this, use this toilet paper roll that fell in the clean bowl of toilet water. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't even make this up. Like I legit cannot make this up. What in the world? And I said, honey, we have been on this frugal page for as long as we've been together, like 10 years now. So this is where I'm gonna have to get off the crazy train. Exit stage right. I can't stay on this frugal crazy train because I will not be using this for my kibbles and bits. No, I will not. Because look, let's be honest, and I know there are a few men who watch this show, but I know it's mostly women. We just have different parts. We have different kibbles and bits. And if he wants to use this for his bits, fine, have at it. But I'm not using this for my kibbles, nor my bits, nor any kibbles and bits. It's not happening. Not happening at all. So I told him I would take it to you, my Coffee Combo Wednesday viewers, friends, my, my family. What say you? What say you? Comment below whether you're watching this here on YouTube, whatever time you're watching this. I need to know yes or no to using... <laughs> Toilet paper that has fallen in a clean bowl 
of toilet water. I mean, I, I feel like I know what you're gonna say, but I need you to comment below because he watches the show and, and he's gonna see. So just, <laughs> I'm telling you every time I think about it, it just makes me laugh. Comment below, I need to know, would you use toilet paper that fell into a toilet bowl of clean water? Because I can't, y'all. I just can't. That's gonna be a hard no for me. And to the O, nope, nobody nope. I am the mayor of Nope from Nopesville. Not happening. So I told him, I was like, look, you can use it. You do you, boo. You do you. I'm gonna do me. And I'm not gonna do me with some wet toilet bowl. I mean, there's so many germ, like, ugh. Okay, all right. <laughs> that is Coffee Cover Wednesday for Wednesday, the first day of May. No longer can we sing. It's gonna be May. Um, episode 158. So yeah, don't leave. Don't stop watching the show until you comment below and tell me. I'm pretty sure I know what you're gonna say because I feel like we've gotten to know each other and I feel like I know what your answer is gonna be. But there may be a few of you that are like, eh, yeah, go ahead and use it. What's the big deal? That's okay. We're not gonna judge. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, let you, let you comment. <laughs> you decide. Before I get out of here, I want to give you a Disney dining card for you to use to get some food or beverages. Now, here's the little caveat, the little catch. This is to be used at Walt Disney World or Disneyland Resort because I know I have a lot of people that are watching on the West Coast, also here on the East Coast. So if you are planning a trip anytime, I think it expires by the end of the year, um, if you are planning a trip to Walt Disney World Resort or Disneyland Resort in California and you would like to get a Disney dining gift card to use for some snacks, food, beverages, whatever, then just comment food. Comment food and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. Just comment food and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday and then join me one week from today and we will announce the winner. Don't forget... If you go over and comment on YouTube, which you can link over to at cindysimmons.com. As soon as we're done here, I'll post the video. If you comment on my YouTube page, that gives you an extra bonus entry. So you can do one here on Facebook and a bonus one on YouTube. Unless you're watching on YouTube, then you can go to Facebook and do one there so you can get two, but that's all you can do is two. <laughs> and then comment food and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Cabo Wednesday and someone will win the dining gift card for Walt Disney World Resort or Disneyland Resort. We will announce the winner next week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week. I really appreciate it. If you're gonna be in Walt Disney World this weekend, our family's gonna be there Saturday. We're gonna check out the Flower and Garden Festival all day long and then Sunday night we're going to be checking out Illuminations, the fireworks show for the first time ever. So I'm kind of excited because it leaves September 30th. So we're gonna go watch some fireworks on Saturday night at Epcot and then do the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. So hopefully if you are out and about at Epcot on Saturday, come say hello. We'll be bebopping around, doing all sorts of fun stuff. And of course, I will bring not only myself back a new coffee mug because I know that there's one that I want. It's like a little flower pot looking thing. But I'm gonna bring something back for you. So maybe if you're like, oh, you know what I would like from the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival? You can comment, like I'm kind of taking requests, and then I will give something away next week right here on Coffee Cabo Wednesday. Follow me on all the socials by going to cindysimmons.com. I'm always on Instagram doing Insta stories. You can get your bonus entry on YouTube. Everything links over there. And then don't forget, every day here in Orlando, I am on Z88.3 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. You can go to zradio.com to listen. You can download the Z88.3 app, or you can tell your Amazon device, I'm not going to make it go off, um, to play Z88.3. I would love for you guys to uh, listen and hang out with me every day. I will see you next week. Have a great rest of your week, and happy May 1st. It's gonna be May. Okay, it's already May. Have a good week. Thanks, guys.